Hey there Pisces, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for June 5th to the 11th. Let's jump straight on in Pisces and see what is on the cards for you. I'm going to grab you a Moonology Oracle card to kick things off and it says you and your loved ones are safe. Interesting, I just drew this one for uh, Aquarius as well. So maybe there's been a situation here and there's been worry uh, maybe for the safety security of your family. It could be to do with what's happening financially in the world at the moment, maybe with housing here, or there might have been an emotional issue, maybe a health issue that somebody has been navigating. This is a beautiful message saying that you and your loved ones are safe and it's new moon energy, meaning that you're moving towards a fresh start here and new chapter. Okay, Pisces, well, let's grab a guiding tarot energy and we have got the Knight of Cups. Now, this can be a real help is on its way card um, or there could be the right opportunity at the right time that's going to help you to maybe get out of a challenge that you are in. This is also your minor arcana for me, Pisces, so it feels like this is meant for you. So the Knight of Cups is often an invitation, a proposal, like they're bringing you the Ace of Cups, something that can really give back to you, whether it's the help that you need, whether it's a new work opportunity, um, you know, it, it, this is something that can really take you back through to the Ten of Cups, that beautiful, uh, happy family environment. So let's see what this is all about. I'm going to grab your cards out. Um, if you'd like a personal reading or healing, first link below will take you to my website to check those out. Grab my free Learn Tarot Quick Guide to get started reading the cards for yourself or to dive deeper. The initiation is my paid offering where you will learn a lot about tarot full foundation in my signature process and follow along on Instagram for daily readings and free little mini personals from time to time. Okay, I'm getting these cards out. I'm doing something slightly different here. This week uh, a condensed reading because I am super busy prepping for Australia's biggest spirituality festival the mind body spirit festival uh, four full days June 9 to the 12th I will be there in my own stand if anyone's around Melbourne come see me uh, it really is a big deal for me I've invested so much time effort and energy and, and money over the last six months into like getting everything set up it's like fitting out a full little little shop environment so yeah I'm, I'm just really ready for it to kind of be done now because I just yeah I'm very nervous so wish me luck um, that's where I will be so I'm just doing the readings a little bit differently this week okay I'm just gonna get one more card out for you bear with me I know I normally speed this up but I am doing it this way okay well, these are your cards. My goodness, you know, we have uh, two, two tens here. We do have like a strong ending energy here. It's funny because I just get this feeling that there is something that you need to let go of. But, you know, and it, it felt inevitable, right? But it's almost like this Ace of Pentacles, this new opportunity, saves the day. Like it's just in time. So, Ten of Swords and the outcome, like it feels like there is, if it's a deception or a betrayal energy, for example, it could be you've had some kind of eviction notice on your rental or on your house, like, and there's that feeling of, oh my gosh, we're going to be without, and then just at the right time, the help you need comes. It's just one example. Um, and it feels like a betrayal, right? Because it's like, well, how could they? You know, how can they do this to us? The Ten of Swords is some kind of ending that holds a bit of pain around it, or, you know, like I said, it does feel Feel like a sabotage so it could also be around the job um, front or you know a relationship here you know it really feels like it's something's coming to completion here but the biggest influence here is the page of Pentacles and I think this is really what you don't know at this stage is that there is a solid new beginning coming. I always say that the pages are the energy that comes in before the ace of the same suit. So this would be the, the precursor, the setup to the ace of pentacles. Now, this is more like the divine orchestration stage. It hasn't shown up yet. And I think that, you know, maybe you're going to go through that Ten of Swords before it does. But you have to have faith and you have to trust that that peace is coming. There really is this kind of gift horse energy here. 
So the Page of Pentacles is bringing you something solid, right? It's either bringing you uh, the finance that you need, that home you need to move in, um, you know, more hours at work, a new, a new part-time job, new job, whatever it is that you need, it's being set up for you, but you must also work with the energy and look, okay, I'm a big believer in that Pisces. So that's your biggest influence at the moment. I feel that that is what is behind the scenes here that you don't know about. Now the challenge is the Ten of Wands. And it feels like the challenge is for you in actually maybe coming to terms with the fact that there is a loss here or there is something that you're going to need to let go. But if we're honest here, the very thing that is leaving you has become some kind of burden in a way. For example, it could be because of this cost of living crisis that you can't actually afford that thing anymore. So yes, there's going to be changes and that new opportunity, that new stability is coming. But something that has become that weight that you carry is being released, but it is hard for you to get your head around letting that go. Okay, so Spirit is saying, like I'm moving on to the advice in a minute with that King of Swords saying, you're going to need to keep the big picture in mind, okay, because there's no point, you know, having something here that is keeping you like so much on that treadmill, like you can't rest, there's no time for you, you know, it's, it's having an impact on your family. But you and your loved ones are safe because there is divine orchestration at play here and sometimes it does happen through weird and wonderful ways that can feel like a bit of a tower. The King of Swords here, Aquarian energy, keep the big picture in mind, take a zoom out and it might not be till later on that you can connect the dots and see why this is all playing out this way. But the, the King of Swords is saying allow hindsight to be your foresight, meaning what you've had in this situation recently is what will continue, right? It's been heavy, it's been hard for you to keep up with. So that's why the universe is conspiring here to release it for you and you are being asked to, to let go and to surrender to that. Now that's going to transform your life in some way and I don't feel the decision ultimately is yours here. The King of Swords could be someone who appears to be heartless in this situation without compassion for you and your family. I don't know, somebody, you know, that uh, owns that investment, property owner. Somebody's in a position of authority here that hasn't signed something off for you, maybe. That feels cold and heartless, but remember, it's all happening for a reason. That Page of Pentacles will save the day. So I think, you know... The, 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 this is going to come to an end. You know, I'm not one of these readings just to say, oh, yep, yeah, no, it's going to be going to keep that. That's that's good. No, the, the Ten of Swords is that it is coming to an end. And it, it's for a reason. Because look at that sun energy on the horizon. The universe says it's in your best interest to not have this in your life, whatever this is for you. So, yes, it feels hard to handle. It feels like a deception or a betrayal. But there is that beautiful new dawn, new day on the horizon here. And very soon, that help that you need is going to come in. So be on the lookout. Be applying for what you need here. Because this really is the offer coming in that is going to be transformational for you and your family okay so trust the process and know what you're going through is really difficult but this is a beautiful omen of positivity and a fresh new start coming so i hope that gave you some clarity guidance insight and confirmation pisces i am wishing you all the best i'm sending love healing and magic i will talk to you very soon bye for now